Vactor 2100i hose reel. The control panel can be moved to a position that is comfortable for you. It will rotate one quarter turn. You can raise it or lower it. It will lock in 13 positions. The switch to unlock the control panel so it can be rotated. The switches on the control panel are as follows. Remote switch will change the operation from the control panel to a wireless or a corded pennant controller. Boom work lights. Side work lights. Hose reel work lights. Reel lock switch when pushed will unlock the hose reel so it can be rotated anywhere in a 270 degree rotation. Pushing once again will lock the hose reel. Pinch roller switch will apply or release the air to the pinch roller. Extend switch will move the hose reel forward from the front bumper when the hydraulics are on. Retract switch will return the hose reel back to the front bumper. Emergency stop button is in case of an emergency. When operating and the stop switch is pushed in, all systems will turn off. The PTOs will turn off. The truck engine will come to idle. To reset the switch, lightly rotate to the right. You will need to go inside the cab and put the truck into road mode and back into the mode you want. Jetting panel. Water pump switch. For safety to start the pump, the top stroke of the switch needs to be pushed twice quickly. To turn the pump off, one stroke down. Multi-flow knob is used to adjust the water pressure you want to operate at. When starting the water pump, the multi-flow knob needs to be turned counterclockwise to zero pressure. Vacuum panel. Throttle control switch. Stroke the top of the switch to increase the engine RPMs. Operating RPM range is 11 to 1400 RPMs on engine tachometer. Double stroke on bottom of throttle switch to drop the engine RPMs quickly. Blower switch. When in combo mode inside the cab, the switch will start and stop the blower. Engine must be at idle to start the blower. Vacuum switch will enable or disable vacuum. Opens and close vacuum relief valve. For the vacuum switch to function, the engine RPMs must be a minimum of 1100 RPMs. Hose reel joystick. To use, lift the bottom of the knob to unlock. Push up to pay in is to roll the hose onto the reel. Pull down to pay out is to roll the hose off of the reel. The rotary knob controls the speed of the hose reel rotation. Boom joystick. Push up, down, left or right will move the boom movement as you face the control panel. If your boom extends or is a telescopic, the knob rotates to extend and retract the boom. If your boom is a 5x5 or a RDB, the rapid deployment boom, there are two buttons on the knob for the hose up and hose down. When the chassis ignition key is turned on, you'll see the startup screen. The buttons on the right are used with gloves on. Top button is for alarm silence. The next four buttons will function what the screen is showing on the right side.
The bottom button is for the footage counter reset. Tabs on the right of the screen will maneuver to that page. Home is the current screen. Chassis page. Systems page. Menu page. The main screen. Panel icon will change to what you have selected with the remote switch. Current mode set from inside cab. Hose reel panel top shows travel rate of the hose reel pay in pay out speed. Hose reel panel bottom is the footage counter. Water panel. Top is gallons per minute, the amount of water you're pumping. The bottom is pressure per square inch, how much water pressure at the hose reel. Chassis engine RPMs will be the RPMs you'll set for operation. Blower RPMs. Vacuum gauge. Push home tab. Will bring up the larger display for operating information. Push chassis tab. Will display all engine information. Proper startup order. In jetting mode. First bring engine RPMs up to 1200. Make sure the multi-flow is turned counterclockwise. Double stroke the top of the water pump switch to start the water pump. Adjust multi-flow to pressure you need to operate at. 1100 RPMs for 40 gallons a minute. 1250 RPMs for 60 gallons a minute. 1400 RPMs for 80 gallons a minute. In combo mode, Start the blower at idle and operate the same way as jetting mode. There is no need to go higher than 1400 engine RPMs.